Islam is submission. And that's something I never want you to forget. The essence of our faith is not just something that we hold in our heart or feelings that we have towards Allah Almighty. Rather, it is a pathway of obedience, acceptance, and willing to submit to the orders of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, following the tradition, the Sunnah of His Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even when it seems that we don't completely understand why. And as you begin to mature, and as you begin to mature, not just in age, but also in your understanding of life, in your world experience, and as you begin to progress through some of the challenges that will definitely face you, you will grow to see some of the greater wisdoms of why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put certain structures in place for us. The overarching verse that we use as a guidance in this regard is that Allah tells us in Surah Al-Mulk, which is the 67th chapter of the Qur'an, أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقَ وَهُوَ اللَّطِيفُ الْخَبِيرُ is not the one who is the creator, most acquainted and knowledgeable of what his creation needs. And he is the most complete and subtle in understanding of all of their matters. And therefore, it's almost as if you must assume within yourself, you and I must hold as a part of our belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not ask us to do anything haphazardly, chaotically, and without purpose or reason or design equally. Allah did not ask us to stop at a certain point and not transgress, to cross over a boundary, to go beyond where we should, except that there's a reason, even if we're not yet able to understand it. And SubhanAllah, in my young adulthood, as I proceeded and I'm getting older now, mashallah, may Allah give all of us a good life and good health and good experience. As you begin to proceed in life, you begin to see some of the great wisdoms in that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has demanded of us. Allah tells us in the Quran, وَقَالُوا سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا That the instruction that we find in following the companions of the Prophet sallallahu following the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu that one of their greatest keys to success was that they were those who would say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا سَمِعْنَا means we hear, but it means more importantly, we understand. سَمِعْنَا أَيْ عَلِمْنَا أَيْ فَهِمْنَا That we understand, we, un- we learned, and we now comprehend what is important for us to do. وَأَطَعْنَا Meaning we put it into practice. And therefore, one of the most important rules in your life is to be a person who makes their Islam about submitting their will, their love, their fear, their hope, their everything to Allah. Allah tells us in the Quran to the Prophet ﷺ to convey to us, قُلْ Say to them, Inna salati, that all of my devotions and prayers, wa nusuki, all of my rites of sacrifice and my rites of worship, wa mahyaya wa mamati lillah, everything in totality of my life and everything into my death is only for Allah, la sharika lah. I've submitted to Allah in that regard. Allah says to the Prophet ﷺ, commanding him to let us know that he is ordered to be the first person to submit to him. In Surah Az-Zumar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنِّي أُمِرْتُ أَنْ أَعْبُدَ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينَ Tell them I've been commanded to obey Allah and to be sincere in my devotion, seeking only Him. وَأُمِرْتُ And I've been ordered أَنْ أَكُونَ أَوَّلَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ To be the first of those who submit as a Muslim to Allah. هُوَ سَمَّاكُمُ الْمُسْلِمُونَ Allah is the one who referred to us as the believing people who gave themselves in submission to Him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us, اِدْخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَةً Enter into submission to attain peace in its entirety. Not halfway, not half step, 
not the things that are easy for us to do and avoiding the others, not learning only that which we're able and wanting to engage in and which fits our lifestyle and ignoring other things, being a person who is complete in their submission to Allah is of the greatest ways for you and I to avoid transgressions and to lead ourselves to a path of righteousness.